are at Newark Airport. We're flying to Detroit at 7 a.m. We're going to be back here by like 7 p.m. So the plan is we're going to see Corey Schlesinger, the GOAT. I got some more stuff for him to sign, not as much as last time. And uh, we're going to go check out the show over there and probably hit the mall or something. We have a little bit of time for that. But uh, strictly in and out of the D, pause, Detroit, one of my favorite cities in the country. And uh, quick little vlog today, so stay tuned. Something special in my bag. I want to show it, as well as a picture. So. All right, we are here in Detroit, or this is technically Royal Oaks, but we got some stuff for Corey Schlesinger to sign, and we're gonna go check out the show. I don't know. Let's have a day in Detroit, man. I didn't. I never thought I'd come to Detroit for literally a day and just chill and get to see Corey Schlesinger. So. Fun. What's up, Corey? Oh, hello. How you doing? How you doing? I see you. Yeah. I got some stuff. I'm gonna walk around for you. How you been? Real good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This all like far stuff, or it's all actually all like heavy lacy under here. I don't know if you like him, but the autos. I'll take a look. Used to like PC him or something. Yeah. One fifty. Probably good on that, but let me know on that one. And then what about the recipe you have here? How you doing, man? Yeah, you too. What's going on? Nothing really. Pick anything up? No. You want this? Yeah. yeah. When I'm done with him, I'll, I'll take a look. Sure. Okay. You're gonna be here for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Seventy and you said seventy-five and fifty. Yep. Yeah. Actually, gotta look this one up. Yeah. We do another, I don't know, some 70 and 40, 110, so we'll be at 180. Yeah, cool. There you go. So, yeah. Josh, nice Tyler, you too, man. So, first lot in Detroit, Giannis rookie, it's a little banged up. Sammy Sosa, dual game used, a couple of Gretzky 10s, and then a Jeter rookie. Jeter's from Michigan, so they love him. Alright, so I brought this suitcase, it's not much in here. I bought empty boxes in the suitcase for shit that I'm gonna buy. So, one table down, already bought stuff. I'm already peeping that shirt, I'm grabbing that. Oh, it's the guy's extra largest. Oh, so more yeah, of the same? I bought a trick from the Pistons back in okay. the day. How many, how many do you have? With me? I bought 2,000 at one time. Jesus. Yeah. 2,000. They're all extra large. So. Just they're all licensed. How many do you have in here? I want to take a, take a bunch. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What would you do for all 11? I'm going to probably pick some stuff out. Too. 100 bucks? Alright, that's cool. I'll do that. You want the box? You want them in the bag? Uh, a bag? Yeah, a bag would be perfect. I'm going to stuff them in somewhere. Okay. 50, 50, 30. Take them all 100 bucks. Right, I'll do that. So we're at 200. And then there's a few in here that I like. The Porsche. The Hanson. Um, what else? These Harringtons are nice, but I have so much Harrington. Yeah, I guess just those two for now. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the show. I will be back. This is fun. Robert Porsche, rookie, one of my other favorite lines of all time. I'm have to charge you for filming my. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing all right. That's good. Where's all the poor stuff in here? If I took all these, do a little something on them? Yeah, I'm sure. Always. So, what am I doing? I 
would do 220 and throw in a pattern. You can throw in one of each if you want it. Is that sound reasonable? Yeah. I just, were those even 10? I just counted them. Yeah, there's 10. Okay. So 220? 220. Alright, perfect. Mm -hmm. Origins blasters. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 what are you off? What are you off? And those will go up to 400 the box. I would do like 130 on these. 130. Yeah, that's like that's like that. Would you do what you know? Yeah. 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 I had to get a summary of the ship. Not much because I bought a lot of it. Sounds good. But then you're, but then you're still dealing with Judge and Jim Brown. Thanks, so, bud. Who's going to win the starting job next year? A lot. Can I do 80? No, that, that's what I said. I have 85, 85. just because it's a nicer pad. But I got a little bit of room. What about the sauce? Uh, he's got 225 on that. That one's out of 25. Yeah, but no comments. You said 30. Do you do 100 with the same ground? Yeah. 70 and 30? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Hey, appreciate it. It's a nice one. What's going on, man? How are you? How you doing? Good. How much are the judge and the crew? Uh, judge, I think I'm asking 400. What was the other one? Just the Daily Cruz? 175. That's just the mojo? It's not number the... Yeah, that's the, no, this is this is not It's not a seventy five. <laughs> What'd you say on this one again? Four. Four and one seven. What would you do on the pair? Pair? Probably do five and a quarter. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Got a Ellie Daily Cruz Mojo Auto and then a Judge Rookie Mojo Auto to 75. Is there Maggie? 750. That's fucking dope. Dude. Yeah, I'm actually from, I was born in Miami, so I watched them win the World Series in 03. I moved up here in 04, and then all of a sudden I got half the team back here. That was, so are you a Tigers fan, or did you make I'm the a Tigers transition? Fan. Right. But like, I mean, I still keep track of them. I do. If there's any like kind of game going on tonight with State or Wings game or Pistons, nothing. Nothing. I always, I always keep my eye out for that stuff too. I mean, I go pretty much every every game with the Wings. Weekends are. I haven't been to a Wings game yet. I've been to a couple Pistons games, Lions, Tigers. It's always whenever someone says 425, 450, 430, I always go 420. He said 425, I go 420. He goes, oh. Always for <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it, brother. So we got we got a Jersey guy, oh, Quentin Nelson. Works. He's from Home Dell. It's just like 10 minutes from the shop. Jazz Orange, 25. Shy, Purple Cracked Ice, and then another Jazz. So appreciate it, bro. Appreciate you, man. Sorry. Two Volpies, three Bowman Cruises, five, what is it, five first, yep. and that Judge Nine. Let me know what you can do on all that. 560, and you said this guy here? Yeah. 650? What, 550? Let me do math real quick. Yeah. Yeah, you know why? I mean, exactly what I'm saying. You could throw in that. It's what? Hertz, you have 25 on? 25 on. I just. Who's got a pen right now? Those five. The Judge, two Volpes, and a three Ellie's. Yeah. At some point, they put him in like a. Like a hard case, kind of like this. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to find it in the case. It's actually, worth a little more. But. Well, the interesting about this is, so I'm supposed to get these signed, right? Mm -hmm. So they give it to me at training camp. We're staying at the Holiday Inn. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to get, you know, paid for the signatures, right? Well, somebody decided to shove them all underneath the desk. 
I never got them. Like, I, where's my things at? Where's my? Crazy. I don't. You know, they finally found them. So then, yeah, they got a little upset about me, but not saying them on time. I'm like, <sighs> not your fault. I, it's not my fault. And you had to sign three thousand of these, and probably some yeah. other ones that were, I think, limited, a little more limited during training camp. Yeah, that's so. crazy. <laughs> This yeah. is your only pack pulled autograph too, right? Have you ever signed anything else for any of the companies? Not like this, no. It's the only so one out there. I have, a, I have a few of these, but yeah, this is your only like pack pulled one. Yep. Um, so I brought some of the same stuff from last time. I want to show you a couple of the cool ones. So this one, I think this. you said this one's one of your favorite ones. I like that one. I asked you last time. This one's a foil one, and it's limited to 65, and it's number one. Okay. People usually like when it says number one on it. So this one... What do you think on that? How much do you think that cost me, by the way? I don't know. I don't want to screw it up. So. No, 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 you're good. It was like 50 bucks for that. No kidding. It's because it's one of 65. Yeah, they just don't pop up. Like a lot of the products that you're because in the early the 2000s. Because silver in there? Or? I think, yeah. Wherever, yeah, that's fine. Do you want me to sign it then? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. I got a couple of cool things you probably have never seen before. Have you ever signed like a poster size card. This is oh, my favorite not card. I've seen that so far. So, someone gave this to me as a present because this is my favorite card of all time. This is the first card I had of you. Mm -hmm. So that's the larger version of that. Oh, nice. So you could sign that nice and big wherever you think yeah. it works. Right there. That was actually, I hung it on my wall. I didn't think I'd ever get it signed, but that one's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. So this, this was your last card right here. This is 2006 tops total. That was your last one. And I got a couple that I didn't get signed last time. These are actually hard to find, your rookie card. 1995 collector. Nobody shows. wants that card. Look at, look at the, the picture right there. Nobody <laughs> wants that card. Look at that compared to that. Action. What's he doing? Jogging. Just warming up. Warming up. Cold out. So what, what do you what do you think about like the picture in this card? Do you have any idea what game that might have been? I'm gonna say it's probably a Chicago game, a Green Bay game. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. But my thigh pads all jacked up. I mean, yeah. So it's, we just. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I don't have signed, and these are these are tougher to find than anything because this set is like, a, I think it's like. 800 or 900 cards. So. I did get a bunch more of these though, your game worn relic ones. Okay, what we need to do is we need to get James Stewart, he and I, signed together. That would be He's a good way. guy, man. He's a great guy. And this, is, this one here. Is numbered to 24. There's only 24 of those. I finally found one of those. And then this one, where you're catching the ball, I think I had you sign a couple of these. But uh, this is the mini one. It's a 125. So this one I'll get some. These all, these all blue. All blue, yeah. You can have one. If you want them to, to write it out to you, do that Thank too. You. I'll pay for it. Thank you. All right. See you, Mr. Schlesinger. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Have a good one, man. Good to meet you. All right, so this one, this is the mini one that's yeah. under 125. That one, I don't know, why don't they blue or black? Now, did that come out later or does this come out back in the day? So, yeah, that's, I think that's 2002. So that came out with the regular cards, but those were like, I think we're hard. I think you only got like one a box and it was 24 packs, like eight, okay. 10 cards a pack. So those are really hard to find. Yeah. Anything that is like, you know, limited number to like anything is hard to find of yours. They like pop up and people are asking way more than what I think they're worth, but I buy them because I can't find them. <laughs> Interesting. I did not even know I had that. So. Yeah, that one's cool. So these two right here are cards that I knew existed but I've never found before. And I've only seen pictures of this one. What? Yeah. I never saw them before in my life. I've only seen pictures of it online. A friend of mine gave it to me. Uh, it was actually gave it to me on my birthday. I didn't even know it was my birthday. This is back in December. And I was like, dude, he had no idea it was my birthday. He goes, I found this for you. I'd never seen it before. It has a picture of the jersey that you wore too, where this, this relic's from. Picture of that bad boy right there. I got, an I got another one you're gonna like too. 
I've, I've literally tried to buy boxes that I know this card can come in just yeah. to try and pull one. They're like $400 a box. That is sweet. That, is, that one's cool. So you probably, what, looking for a pass or something? Or look, look, ready to jack somebody up right there. I don't know. <laughs> so somebody's going to get it. <laughs> that one's dope. So what do you think on this one? Blue or black? Blue on that baby. Blue? Whatever you think. Because there's a lot of gray and blue on that. All right, so I got I got one more card okay. that I've never I've seen other ones like it before, but not this one. So if you thought that was cool, you might like this one too. I already got it. My mom, my mom already got it. Red game used jersey card. That's number. There's only 150 of them. I've not seen the red. So that's, that's mere red. I've not seen that. So that is. Uh, I, it popped up on eBay so what's, what's wrong last with Monday. What's wrong with that, though? They spell your name wrong. They spell uh, your no, name wrong on a few cards. They did. That's why when I look up your stuff, I have to I have to type it in with the EY sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. Yeah, that's, dope. that's a good picture, too. Yep. That one, though, is just awesome. That popped up on eBay for $45. Nope. I just bought it outright. Like, I have not seen oh, one dang. ever. So I had to buy it. That one's awesome. That's one of my favorites. Find this one then too, or yeah, okay, hundred percent. So when I was your age, this is 2004. That's me oh in your jersey for my for my school pick. I think I told you last time, but I couldn't yeah. find it. So I found it, and I found my old jersey in my closet. No kidding. So this is the one that I'm wearing right there. It is a little beat up, but I got this for my a Christmas or no a birthday present in 2003. I'm kidding. So I want to get this signed. I'm gonna yeah. frame it, do it here. It's a little brittle, but I thought this was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is a kid's large. There's some of these out of the way. So yeah, there's. He's gonna sign the jersey. This is the exact jersey I wore, 2004. I think it's like first grade, first grade uh, school picture. Back in New Jersey, when everyone was like. Why are you a Lions fan? Who is Schlesinger? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like that's, that's the best guy in the world right there. If the Lions are good, they're going to have some bandwagon fans. Like, I remember the Seahawks. Nobody cared about the Seahawks right. like 10 years ago until they became good. And the Lions, we have great colors. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, we just have a, we have a good city and a good fan base. So I feel like Absolutely. the Lions could gain a lot of fans in the next few years, especially with the I think so too. Campbell. I mean, the way we are, uh, where we're playing, uh, the games are exciting, the excitement of the games now too. Yep. It's gonna be, it'll be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun actually, so. I got uh, one more thing here for you. I, wait, not that box. Can you hand me that one right there? So somebody actually made this for me and gave it to me as a gift. <laughs> they made a McFarlane figure of oh, yeah. smokes. They actually use this is actually a Barry Sanders body, I believe, because he has a figure that's formed just exactly like that. So I want to sign it right here. So the, the cool thing is the guy that gave it to me is a is a former veteran. Well, he is a veteran, and he collects Bryant Young. That's his player. So I've I've been collecting some Bryant Young things to give him. We just got into the Hall of Fame. No kidding. He just sent it to me out that of nowhere. Really cool. I was like, dude, that was that was incredible. Has anybody ever come nope. to you with anything like that? That's a first. That's definitely a first right there. I mean, the, the guns, you can tell, that's definitely me right there. So, <laughs> that's, not bad. That's how you can tell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. Hold on, let me take a picture. Yeah, of course. That was it. It was in my office. I'm trying to think of things that I had that I wanted to get signed, and that I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I just think so. I appreciate your time you once again. I'm going to see if I can get this guy to make me another one. Next time I see you, I'll, cool. I'll bring you one of them. The guns, if man. I can get more of these too, I got you. That's sweet. Never saw that one before. Yeah, that one's. I can't believe someone gave that to me. I was I was shocked yeah. as a president. But, uh, cool. Uh, yeah. I'm going to grab a picture with you if that's yeah. cool. And then. It's a goat, man. Look at this. This is going right back up in the shop. This is my OG. Fucking jersey I wore in second grade. I got all these. I got my figure sign. I had some cool stuff, and then these are the coolest. Corey, I think he smudged. Oh no, he didn't. It's just the logo. But Corey said he's never seen this one before, and he's never seen this one in red. So cool stuff. We're right out here. This is a, a vintage clothing store called the Vintage Vault Clawson. Uh, I found them on Instagram 
and I wanted to stop by. So the goal is to go in there and buy some dope Detroit shit that I can't find back home. Hopefully I'm in heaven. Uh, I've seen their stuff on Instagram and they have some cool Detroit shit. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's see, let's see what we can pick up. Sneakers are over here. They go from like smallest to largest size. Some of them are lightly used or dead stock, but nothing too crazy. B. We don't like to take shoes unless they're like eight and a half or nine out of ten condition. Mm -hmm. All of our vintage crew necks are gonna be over here. You know, vintage jacket and shop crew necks are on that rack. And uh, just let me know if there's anything I can help y'all. Yeah, with. thank you, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. it. Looking for Detroit shit. That's what I'm. Hell yeah, we got, we got hella, hella Detroit shit. I can guarantee you everything in here is 100% authentic. Nice. Um, if you guys ever have questions about legit checking anything, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to help. I'm just waiting for the Pistons to be good. Man. Dude, they have so much good young talent. It's like, what the fuck's going on? Well, it's what's so crazy about it, too, is it started off and it was like, um, we had so many vets and no young talent. But now it's like, we just have young yeah. talent. It's like, we need to find that happy medium. Dude, talent. I liked Dwayne Casey, but like, at what point are you like, what yes, are you doing? That's like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm a big fan of his as well. It's just like, at what What's point, like, yeah, he's a defensive minded coach, and like, our defense is by far the worst in the league. Awful. Misery. I don't know why I picked him, I picked him. I know, right? I, I, I would say my favorite is, yeah, I'm a Lions fan. Wow. A this is fire. All over print, coming home. Bad boys. I have this shirt. So this is brand new. Carry on. I mean, I could stuff some shit. We'll see how it plays out. I could probably, we could probably make it work. It's close. So I knocked off like 20 to 30 bucks pretty much every item. All right, yeah, I'll do that. Sweet. And then do you want to do cash or card today? I'll, I'll, I'll do cash for you, bro. Beautiful. Small business. Appreciate again. it. I appreciate it, dude. I think we could stuff this. Yeah. We put like a, like two sweaters in your bag and I'm well let's see how it goes all right we fit everything in here and my suitcase is broken need to get a new one RIP this one was I've been to a lot of places with this suitcase and I fit everything in my bag the poster's gonna be ruined but that's just gonna go on the wall but I appreciate the hospitality guys Anytime. I'm glad I got I got I'm glad I got to come here so we went to go to the vintage gloss and shout out to the guys over there um, picked up some vintage shit for me they hooked it up I hooked them up with some piston shirts I got that you guys saw and I've been meaning to come here, Luton's Sports Card and Collectibles. I've talked to them many times on Instagram, and just so happens, they're like, oh yeah, there's a store around the corner. I'm like, is it Luton's? They're like, oh, I think so. And fucking walking around the corner, there it is. It's funny, we're walking. I see yeah. it around the corner. Yeah, good to meet you, man. Yeah, man, for sure, dude. Depending on what that AJ Brown pouch is number two. I don't. Frank, oh, still Frank Gore in there. Okay, I love Frank Gore. Cool. Garnett and Duncan triple pass. Oh, that's a cool one. I just got that. Those are the old school Upper Deck Premier when Upper Deck actually, Upper Deck made mm. such good basketball stuff. So yeah. The David Ortiz. Okay. $50. That and would be 40 for you. Okay. And then, the Goldschmidt Christine Relic Auto. Or really? Right, three more. Okay. Right. No, you could. The Soto Select in there. Well, I gotta I gotta go to the airport. The airport's what, 30 minutes from here? 30, 35. 35. Yeah. Easy. It was yeah, I'm glad I, dude, it's so funny. We walked around the corner and I saw this. I was like, I've been meaning to come here every time I come. Just haven't had the time whenever I'm here. We were at 375 here. Okay. And then 120. 565. Okay. Cool. I could do card. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we picked up from Luton. It's been meaning to come here. Find the cane. Guy gave me a solid deal here. Frank Gore's for the PC. All this stuff, shop stuff. But Frank Gore I'm keeping, that's my guy. So shout out to Luton's. Thank you, my man. No and problem. if you're ever in the Detroit area, make sure you stop by. I finally, finally made it here. <laughs> Alright, so. 
It's really funny. We walked around the corner and saw my guy Luton's shop. We've been talking for a couple of years. He's been open to ask me for advice and stuff, which is pretty cool. Picked up this lot. That always helps. And uh, I mean, shit, it was a nonstop trip of just deal after deal, content, uh, vintage shop. I got stuff for the PC. I love Detroit. And after talking to him, I'd love to open a shop downtown Detroit. I know it's a little rough sometimes, but can't complain, man. Living the dream and not going to stop anytime soon. So let's get in this Uber and let's get a Coney. Let's get a Glizzy. See you later.